Hello world, Lockpicking Dev here. Today I'm going to show you the um, Spring 22 uh, batch of picks that I've got done. We will start with the uh, left side, the easiest and just the most basic simple. Uh, this one I actually made out of, um, what is it called, uh, a dowel, a wooden dowel. All I did, cut it down the center, I flattened the side to sandpaper, glued the wooden, uh, the metal in there. So if you want a simple, simple handle, just a, a metal or uh, wooden dowel, shave off the side. There you go. It makes it super simple for you. Then over here we have um, uh, pickle Rick. So I found this online, and I've been playing with my 3D printer. And I actually screwed this handle up. It's supposed to be insertable, to where you can uh, insert like uh, almost wiper blades in it, in the top there. But I screwed up, so I cut it in half. And just made a pickle rick rake. Just an all aluminum pick right here. I like the feel of aluminum picks. They're nice. They give great feedback. And they're not super heavy, but they feel solid too. Over here, I have three mammoth tusk picks. And yes, genuine mammoth tusk. There we go. One of these is already sold, and uh, I forget what kind of burl this is. I think it might be a brown, uh, brown Mali barrel or something like that. But I really like it. it. Turned out nice. This one is a um, ancient bog oak with a bumbinga, uh, babinga. I love the ancient bog oak because you can see the grains of the wood really good there. Um, it's also not really bright. It has almost like a shimmer to it or uh, some sort of shine to it. And you have uh, a bingo on the other side there. This one is a uh, paddock and babinga. Just doing combinations I haven't done yet. A uh, full paddock right here. I just love the red, red picks. And that grain just looked great. This one was, I believe, a um, Gaboon Evan Ebony. So I'm uh, trying to make each type of black wood I can to add to my Goth Bitches pick collection. And to go along with that, here's a um, Buffalo Horn. You can see how it actually cracked right there. And right there a little bit, but it's okay now. This is one I'm keeping, obviously, but it's going to be part of my goth bitches. Um, this one, I forget the kind of wood, but I really like it. You can see a little bit of the swirls in it there. Um, the only part that was shitty about it, and I find about even just the white wood in general, is when you're sanding stuff, it's easy to get dark grains in there and kind of mess it up. If anybody has a tip for cleaning that up and keeping it nice, that'd be great. But yeah, this... It's also really light wood too. It's really easy to work with. It's kind of a softer wood. This one is a, oh, what type of ebony is this? Um, I believe a Madagascar. You can see a little bit of the brown on that side of it. But I had like a little piece of it, so a little mini pick. Um, again, love these um, burl mixes. Uh, I forget what type of wood that is, but this is a black one, uh, burl that will be going in my uh, Goth Bitches collection as well. Um, I don't make this profile that often, even though I love it, just because it's not quite as easy as the hooks. Yeah, I made this profile for this wood. Um, uh, fuck, I forgot what kind of wood this is. I really enjoy this wood. It looks great. This is a uh, purple stained. Um, hell, I forget what this one is too, but really cool looking. I think a purple stained maple, maybe. Spalted maple, maybe. A radio oak style. Uh, this, I believe, is um, just the. Um, what is it? The. Uh, I forget what it's called. It's another um, blackwood, African blackwood. Yeah, very dark, nice, nice black wood. This one is um, um, Australian redwood. <clears throat> uh, someone from Australia sent this to me. 
I'm sorry if I uh, forget the names. It's hard to keep up with everything going on lately. But yeah, very nice. Uh, I traded, I believe, traded picks with them. Who was that? Hell, I, sorry, my memory's just not there right now. But I actually, um, in my pick making video, the one I made too thin, I went ahead and decided to screw it. I'm going to try it out. And you can see how thin that is. And I made it to a nice high hook there. So I'm going to try to use this on more of the, uh, the harder to reach locks and high security locks right there. So I'm keeping this one for sure. This one is just some uh, pieces that were uh, broken wood. You can see how this one was cut in a little bit. But yeah, it just had a spare piece of metal. So slap some pieces on each side. Made a little pick out of it. Still nice. This one is um, leopard wood. Leopard wood on one side and lace wood on the other. I really like this lace wood. The leopard wood looks really cool too. This is uh, General Micarta. That's a paper micarta. Um, a highly figured walnut. And it's covered in um, polycrylic. Shined up, I really like, really, really like how this one just, you can see all the figure in it, looks great. Um, started making uh, dimple picks, interchangeable tip dimple picks, so I'm going to screw this just like a multi-tip, multi-pick, like one of these, and interchange a multi-pick flags. This one's just a basic acrylic and brass top, about the size there. And then another one right here. Uh, this one's my favorite so far. Uh, keep in mind, I also made both of these without a lathe. Uh, I did buy a lathe since then, so they should come out nicer. So you can see, just not quite exactly straight, but still pretty damn nice without a lathe. But yeah, here, African bog oak, brass thing, uh, brass. Uh, paddock and let's see if we can see it between the black there you can see it's just a little bit of silver there I um, took some tin foil and put it in there next time I might put a little bit more layers or just a thinner piece of actual foil there and add a nice little touch to it but yeah another um, multi-pick interchangeable handle there and then these last two these will be going to pick smith this one's for an upcoming giveaway. Keep a lookout for that. Black Pickers United. This is a uh, check-in. Uh, I've got the uh, check-in something, but full tang. Very nice wood. I like it a lot. You can see how it, the wood just kind of merges over into it. Really cool. And then this video will go out after this goes to Picksmith. This is uh, a pick I made for Picksmith for a trade that we did. So he sent me the bone pick, and I'm going to send him this nice uh, inlay pick. The bone pick is it's like the bones of my hand. He said he's been wanting to make this pick forever, and when he saw my hand, he knew exactly who to ask to trade picks with. <laughs> yeah, here we go. I really like this wood. I believe this is um, uh, black walnut or something something similar it just it turned out great it looks good but there we have it there we are this is my spring 22 2022 batch of picks if you have any questions drop them below um if you're interested in any more of my picks or anything about them follow me on uh, social media instagram twitter um i have facebook i'm not on there as much and you can find out more about these and inquire about them if you're interested before i go i almost forgot we have a 308 shell with a 3D printed bullet insert that I drilled a hole in and glued a multi-pick flag in. Very simple. Uh, this one I enjoy quite a bit. We got um, the ancient bog oak on the front, a uh, highly figured walnut in the middle, and bog oak in the back with a brass piece right there. Um, the brass is uh, really hard to work with when it's all glued in because the heat just makes any glue just come right apart. Um, you kind of have to form the brass before you do anything with it. 
but uh, that's also why I coated it just to make sure it's nice and strong but that looks really good you can see just I love that right there looks good and then of course we have our um, <laughs> the most recent famous dick pics uh, raccoon bacu baculum and so yeah these are raccoon penis bones and picks uh, very useful picks the only thing if you're going to be uh, working with bone uh, be careful with including um, any sort of horn or tusk or anything is uh, they can be brittle especially these ones right here so you always want to grab where the metal is right there and then um, uh, Mr. Cocolito he had a nice profile so um, Zyfex got it up on a website got producing it and it just had to go on a dick pic so it is the ultimate dick pic I'm claiming um, if you know a better dick pic let me know uh, drop a comment below anyways that is uh, these batch of spring 2022 picks Alright everyone, thanks for watching.